Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Sega Dreamcast games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. On screen right now, you can see me playing some Mortal Kombat. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing we need to do is open up our Play Store. So I'm going to be searching for that on my Android device right now. And we're going to be searching for and installing two apps. The first app we're going to be searching for and installing is RetroArch. This is going to be a free multi-emulator we're going to be using. In this case, I already have it installed. I actually need to update it, so I will do that right now. This is the first thing you're going to want to do. So once this is done, we're going to be backing out of here, and then we're going to be searching for another app. In this case, we're going to be searching for an app called Z Archiver. This is again going to be another free app that we're going to be using. This is going to be used for extracting games that we're going to be doing a little bit later in today's video. Again, this also seems to be an update, so I will be updating this as well. So what you need to do is get this installed also. Once you have both of these installed, we're going to be coming back to our homepage and we're going to be opening up RetroArch for the first time. And if this is your first time opening this app, it may ask for access to your phone storage. In this case, you're going to have to allow it as we're going to be accessing games a little bit later. So the first thing we're going to be doing is clicking the load core option at the very, very top. And then from here, we'll see all current cores currently installed. The only one I have right now is for the NES or the Famicom. In this case, we're going to be needing to get a new core for our Sega Dreamcast. What we're going to be doing is clicking the download a core option right here. And then we're going to be scrolling down until we see the Sega Dash Dreamcast core that we see right here. All you need to do is click this. Some text will pop up at the bottom to say your core is currently being installed. And once the text has gone away, your core has been installed correctly. From this point, we can click the back button on the top left. We can go to load core and then we can select the core we just downloaded, which is a Sega Dreamcast core right now. And then once you have your core installed, you're pretty much ready to start loading your games. So now we're going to go back to our home screen and we're going to be talking a little bit about games. In this case, we're going to be opening Z Archiver for our games. Our games are most likely going to come in a .zip or a .rar format. So that's where the archiver comes in. If I come to my Dreamcast folder, you can see I already have a game here, which is Mortal Kombat.rar. Now this is a good point to be mentioning that I'm not going to be showing you in today's video where to actually download or find your games, but they're really, really easy to find. A quick Google search will help you out. But like I mentioned, games will most likely come in a .zip or a .rar. And we're going to be extracting the games with the archiver to be able to play them on our RetroArch app. So in this case, you can see I have Mortal Kombat Gold downloaded here in a .rar format. To extract this game, what you need to do is click it once. We're going to be clicking extract here if you want to extract it in the current location or extract dot 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 if you want to choose where to extract it. In this case, I have this folder created specifically for this. So I'm going to be clicking extract here and then your game should start to extract. Now, depending on the size of the game and your phone's processor, this may take a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes. In this case, it only took me about 15, 20 seconds. Now, once your game is extracted, you can see we have created two files here, the readme.html and the Mortal Kombat Gold.cdi. In this case, for the Dreamcast, we're mostly going to be looking for .cdi files. You can see like we have right here. So once you have your games downloaded and extracted, what we're going to be doing is coming back to Z Archiver. Our core is already loaded, so we don't need to worry about that. And then we're going to be clicking the load content option. From here, then we're going to be searching for where our games are. In this case, I know my game is in my Dreamcast folder, which I'm going to locate to. And you can see my Mortal Kombat Gold.cdi right here. Click this open, and then your game should launch. From this point, if your phone is set to auto rotate, we can simply rotate our phone to the side. And you can see we have all of our on screen controls here for our game. And here you'll be able to play it just like normal. So loading up a menu or hiding anything from this point can be done with the options we have on top. The RetroArch icon will open up the menu where we'll have the option to resume, restart, close content, take screenshots, and a couple of other things. From this point, you can connect up extra controllers over USB or over Bluetooth on your phone or Android device, connect them up, set them up and map them and everything. And then you'll be able to play with an extra controller here. And it's a really, really nice experience. As long as you also have a somewhat powerful phone, the overall frame rate should also be just fine. For me, I've got a Snapdragon 845 and it runs really, really well. Of course, depending on your phone spec, this may vary. From this point, you're back in the home menu. And of course you can change some settings. If we click on the settings option on the bottom right of our screen, in the settings option, if we come to input, we have the option to bind controller options in the port one, two, and three. We can set up a couple different options here as well. If we back out of this as well, we'll also see we have the video option where we can set up scaling, buffering, resolution, and a bunch of other things. So this app is really, really well featured and it works really well. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to play Sega Dreamcast games on your Android device. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.